Welcome back or welcome for the first time to hear my melody and my steel tongue drum series here on YouTube. This video will benefit you if you play the hang drum, the tank drum, the steel tongue drum or any kind of melodic drum. Because today we will test out the Orbis Duo together with the ARM Magnetic pickup microphones. But first, you are looking fantastic today, as always. Now, roll the intro! The Orbis Duo is a multi-purpose preamp EQ reverb pedal with Phantom powered on board. It has a nice wood finish at the sides, as you can see. If we start with a closer look at the inputs, we can see that we have two combo input channels, where you can use either XLR balance jacks and or a standard instrumental quarter inch cable. This feature makes the pedal quite versatile. Sem Percussion has built it with a steel tongue drum in mind, but you can of course use it with any other musical instrument. And of course also use it with other pedals and the like. Furthermore, the Orbis Duo has two outputs and a special output for your headphones. If we look at the top of the pedal, we can see an awesome feature, a button which says Link. This makes it possible for you to use the Orbis Duo in mono or stereo mode. For example, you may, like me, own a Gouda double, where you have one scale on the top and one on the bottom. If your Gouda double has two line outs for XLR cables, with eight internal pickups installed in your drum, you may want to record them separately, four on one channel where the main melody is, and four on the other with the undertones. Or, if you want to record them together, with all of the eight microphones at the same time, you just click link. The choice is yours. It is of course also possible to connect one or two instruments, or you can plug in one or two on pickup microphones for two drums at the same time, etc. You can also use it with other instruments if you want to connect one drum and one guitar, for example. Or maybe you want to sing together with your drum. If we look at some other internal specs, the Orbis Duo pedal has three band EQ and internal filters that cut frequencies that we don't want in our mix. And it also do not allow to overload the signal. An important note regarding these B and U buttons is that if you have a XLR cable or for example the OM microphones connected to a channel, the button B and U should not be pressed in. The button should only be pressed in if you, for example, are not using one of the channels, then you should have it pressed in. Or if you're using a linear jack as an input. If you do not follow those instructions, you may get some disturbing frequencies. So keep that in mind when connecting your channels. While using the EQ, you can tune it to the desired sound. Different instruments have different sounds, some are brighter and some have more bass. So for better sound, it is necessary to tune the EQ. You can add or cut bass, middle or treble. I will show this later on. Continuing on, looking at the top, we can see that we have a master volume and two different gain knobs for the two different input channels. Down to the left, we can also see the knob for the reverb effect. And we should not forget the knob for the headphones on the side. Further down, we can see that we have two buttons. The left one turns the reverb on and off, and the right one mutes the effect of the pedal entirely. I will now demonstrate how to use the Orbis Duo with the OM microphones. You simply connect the two microphones to the Orbis Duo input and decide if you want to link them or not. Then you magnetically place them on your drum. I recommend to do this on the bottom surface of the drum where they get a fuller sound and also may lose some of the tapping sound from your fingers or mallets. They also do not disturb your playing style here. I will now show how to use the EQ.
in its extreme form you can remove all of the bass like this. Or all of the middle like this. Or all of the top like this. We of course do not want to remove all of the different sounds, but this is to show how they work. You should experiment with this and find your own sound. Before the conclusion I will also play the same melody without any effect from the Orbis Duo. And after that I will switch on the reverb button so you can hear the difference. Here you have a little list with the specs I have mentioned. The Orbis Duo has two combo XLR and linear input channels. It has two outputs. It has mono and stereo modes. Headphone output. It has a three band EQ. Duo reverb effect. And 48V phantom power for using for example OM pickups. And also power supply included, of course. So, that was all for this time. If this video gave you any value, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. Please feel free to check out my deep dive videos in the Steel Tongue Drum series on YouTube if you are interested in checking out scales. It is important that you find the scale that is best suited for you. If you like this one, smash that like button and I will see you next time. Goodbye and as always, hey do!